What's going on boys and girls, it's Muntish Gaming here again and welcome back to my channel. This is episode 24 of my official PvP series and today we're going to start it off with a boss fight. We've got Alpha Brood here and we're doing it on Rexes. Not really the best idea uh, but they are kind of throwaway Rexes so hopefully it goes well. And then after that we've got a bit of a breeding episode. As you guys know, uh, Wildcard hosted a charity event and every 5k that was donated through the uh, Wildcard hashtag or whatever through their link uh, they added 0.5 times to the already existing two times event over the weekend so we got up to some crazy crazy rates I think we are uh, maxed out at eight times um, which is pretty questionable I'll, I didn't really agree with it uh, but it was for a good cause so without further ado let's get into the episode that was a very slow start My auto clicker's on now, we're good. And like, I think like I'm four it, Rexes it, aren't even hitting it. It's up in the fight though, and it can't back out. I'm trying. Rip, dead on, one hit. No one was even on the data. I think it got whistled onto the bot. <laughs> we will probably die now. Yeah. Come on, oh my god, this is gonna be so close. Oh no, yeah, we we fucking wiped. Hide it around with a shotgun. Oh no, we might be able to get it, we might be able to get it. Come on, please. Come on. If you would We gotta get it, we gotta get it, we gotta get it, we gotta get it. <laughs> Come on, yes! <laughs> oh my god. Fucking easiest boss fight of my life. As you guys know, there's an Extra Life charity event running at the moment and Wildcard has tweeted, well they've stated that uh, every $5,000 that is raised under their name, uh, they will add 0.5 times to the two times that's already re existing over the weekend. So, prepping for this, we are dropping just a couple eggs. Just drop some Therry eggs here and there you go. <laughs> so we're, we're hatching a couple Rexes, a couple Gigas and some Therries. Um, also over here in the fridges and here got a bunch of Stegos ready and two Brontos. But yeah, really hyped for this um, event that's going to be, I think they're starting it tomorrow during the stream. I'm not too sure. I'm not 100% about that. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. So lots of grinding ahead. It's going to be absolutely insane. Uh, but I am a bit worried that they have capped it at eight times, but I think even that's a bit high. I mean, if it does hit eight times, I'm kind of worried that the game's going to be fucking ruined. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, I don't know what your guys' feelings is about it either. Um, but yeah, I'm happy, but it's, I'm, it's kind of conflicting. I don't know if I, I should be happy or not. But yeah, anyway, see you guys once these are hatched. Alright, let's start the hatching. I'm going to start with the berry dinos first. Let's drop a couple stegos. Let's see what we get. Ooh, there's the first one. We got twins. Oh shit. There's another, another one. Claim that. Claim that one. Claim that one. Oh, did the other one fall through the fucking ground? It did. Let's see the start. 7k health. Perfect. I think that's our best start. So, feed that up. Nice. This color is fucking amazing. Purple, blue, and like a pink spine it looks like. That's awesome. Okay. Alright, there's the first one. You little bastard, get back here. There we go. Second one. These are higher levels, so they don't have the color mutation, unfortunately. Let's drop one more there. What have we got? 6.7. Yeah, that's all right. It's good enough. What have we got in this one? 7k health. Fucking beautiful. All right, let's go, boys and, and girls. Sorry. Gender equality. Let's move these over here. All right, you next three. Off me. One sec, I've got babies hatching. First one has pink spine, but that's it. 
Beautiful, another. Oh, fucking twins. 7k, beautiful. So this one got 6.7k, that's good enough. There's Theri, what do we got? 8k health, 337 damage. Decent health, shit um, damage, but we're gonna feed it anyway. It's a female, so we'll keep that one. There's the next one, what do we get? Six, 7k health, uh, that's not too bad, it's a female so we'll keep it again. And what we got here, we got the white Bronto I think, is it white? Not too sure. Ugh, 18k health, that's fucking awful. I think I'm going to let that one die. Alright, there we go, Therries are done. I actually got one decent one out of all those, out of the, uh, I think it was five eggs I had. So here it is. 8k health, 419 melee damage, that's really nice. Uh, it's also a female, so that's good. Uh, but the rest here are pretty average. This one's alright. Kind of low health, mediocre damage. Um, but the others are pretty garbage can. This one's alright, it's got 8k health, uh, but really low damage, so yeah. Anyway, um, I think I've got two more eggs. I got the quetzes here, so let's pop those now. All right, let's pop these quetzes. Hopefully, we get something good. All right, what do we got here? Thirteen, four, four, eight point seven k health. Two, mm, not bad. What's this one? 7.3k, 15.20, alright, that's pretty good, that's really nice actually. So there we go guys, that's going to be it for the berry farmers for now, uh, well Quetzes don't eat berries, I know that guys, so don't roast me in the comments, uh, but we'll probably come back later uh, to hatch out the Rexes and the other meat eaters, so stay tuned for that, and yeah, look how beautiful these Stegos are, so nice fucking beautiful. Alright, so next we're going to be breeding up some Megatheriums. If you guys didn't know, they're actually really, really good, really strong uh, in the Broodmother boss fight. So that's what we're going to be breeding these up for. Uh, like you guys saw in the first clip, it didn't go down too well with Rexes. I don't know if it was because we used Rexes or because half the people in the boss fight were fucking AFK or sleeping or some shit. I don't know what happened. Our Deodon died in like the first 20 seconds. Um, but yeah, this will make it so much easier. They're so ah, good in there. Uh, if you guys haven't done the boss fight before, there's a bunch of spiders in there. And if you don't know, the Megatherium actually gets a damage buff uh, once it kills something that gives it chitin. So all those spiders in there uh, give the Megatheriums constant damage buffs, which just make it so much easier and faster than with Rexes. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll get these bred up now. There we go. They're, they're out and running. Fuck, these things are cute. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Looks so fucking dopey. <laughs> oh, it's got a mean fucking vein on its neck, though. Look at that shit. Alright, what stats does it have? 6k health, 302 damage. I don't even know that's good, but whatever. There we go. Just got the ice wire that just hatched for our stego dropping. There it is. Looks pretty cool. Black and like bluish whitish. Alright, just dropping two more wyvern eggs here. 185 fire and a 185 lightning. Let's see what we get. Hopefully they look good. Hopefully they have decent stats as well. Alright, there's the first one. Lightning. Pretty average colour. 9.2k health. 270. Pretty shit. Um, and pretty shit colour as well. Oh well. There's the fire one. What do we get here? Ooh, 12k base health. Fucking beautiful. Alright, so just got an announcement in game that Ark has successfully raised $30,000 for the kids so far. And that means we have five times the normal rates. And I have some imprints to do now. So let's go ahead and do those and see how much we get from one imprint. 
What the fuck? Does that say 39% or are my eyes fucking with me? That do That is 39%. What the fuck? Well, there you go, guys. We're officially playing on the Nerd Parade server. 17% on the Therry. Look at that. 39% imprint. That is fucking disgusting. 39%. Oh my god. Here we go. We're hatching a giga now. <laughs> oh, here it is. Ah, oh, it's fucking level 111. Did it have the damage? It got the damage. Fuck yeah. Yeah. So there we go, guys. Got our giga. Level 111. 18.5k health. 225 damage. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> I can't get over that. That's fucking hilarious. So, it's almost the end of the, uh, what is it? 6.5 times event? Almost 7 times event now. I think we've got about 5 or 6 more hours left. And here we are. We did another Rex load. Oh my god, I can't get through here. We've got pigs here, we've got UDs. Got fucking shit ton of Rexes. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I can't even get through. Got more Thylers. Rexes over there. Then you come upstairs. Got more Rexes. We got more Quetzals. More Rexes. More Quetzals. More Tapajaras. We went absolutely ham during this event. So much breeding. Up here we have Gigas, Therries, and then up this floor here, we've got even more Rexes, so... Yeah. You could say we did a bit of breeding. Um, and this is only about half of it. We've actually got all of our um, herbivores outside that we have done as well, but can't really show you that. And here we have the Megatheriums. These guys have got to be the chillest fucking breeding dino ever. I got 100% imprint when it was 45% matured, so that's crazy. That's so cool. Um, but yeah, I'm actually going to breed these up again while we still have time. Uh, just because they're so easy. So, my stegos from last night are fully grown now. Decided to mate up a bunch more. I got 17 eggs here. Drop them down. We only got a couple more hours left of the 6.5 times or 7 times, whatever it is. So I think they actually might be able to fully grow in the time that's left in the event. Uh, but yeah. Alright, Thylers are ready now. What we got here? Where is it? Uh, hello? Oh, there it is. It's buying the piece of shit. Alright, there's our first one. Ooh, we got a blue one. Fuck yeah. This blue thigh looks really, really cool. Hopefully I can get the pink and the blue together. That'll be fucking awesome. We got one, boys. Blue and purple. Fuck yeah. That's beautiful. That is fucking beautiful. So I was just looking through all the stegos that we just hatched, and we actually got a health mutation. That is fucking amazing. 7.3k almost health. That is amazing. That's so nice. Really happy we got that. So once that's matured, we'll just start breeding that up. And yeah, we're going to end the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Really successful weekend, I must say. Uh, shit ton of breeding was done. I think we hatched close to 300 dinos. Um, so yeah, pretty hectic weekend. Lots of berry and meat runs, as you could imagine. A uh, bit unfortunate on the mutation side, though. I was hoping for a few more uh, color mutations and stat mutations. Uh, but nonetheless, still really happy with the health mutation on the Stegos. Can't wait to get that into the line and running. Uh, but yeah, apologies for the boring content, uh, but there wasn't much else we could do over the weekend. It was eight times. If you weren't farming or breeding, pretty much wasting your time. Uh, and breeding is really enjoyable for me. I like getting mutations and all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I wish we actually got color mutations on the fairies. I don't think we got any new color mutations, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, stay fucking awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.